All right, we're getting close to the end of 2021. So I usually do a recap of some of the most popular videos on my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jeff Heaton. I teach a class at Washington University that I put all of the videos online here. And I also do a variety of experiments, projects, other things. Really, if you think about it, my videos come into four categories, and we'll talk about that. This is going to give you a chance to vote for which of those four categories you want. You might want to vote now, or you might want to see some examples of each, which we're going to look at. So I have my code-heavy videos. These are the ones where I just take you through a project that I've worked on, and I take you through the Python code, I explain it, I give you a notebook so that you can go off and do your own thing with it. I also have my technical overview videos. This is where I take a technology. We might get into a little bit of code, but I'm mainly talking about like what type of GPU should you use? Just not so much career advice. There's already a ton of those channels out there, but just giving you my ideas on technology and where things are heading. Then ever popular, I do my install videos. This is where I just like install TensorFlow with a GPU, install PyTorch, show you some of these complex technical problems and how to do something. And then there's my actual course video. Here's my channel on YouTube. Look at this. I have almost 60,000 subscribers. Definitely not the fastest growing channel in the world, but getting up there. You know what? I could have a few more. There's a, there's a subscribe button there. You could do something nice with that. Anyway, by the time you watch this, I'm probably going to be at 60 because I tend to record these a little bit early. But, but I'm going to show this in December. So let's look at the analytics. What do I consider a popular video? I don't care about the most views of all time. I mean, the video that I put on here that has the most views of all time was like the first video I uploaded to YouTube, and it's a vacation video. Yeah, you, you look at it if, if you want. Cinco de Mayo, it always goes nuts. Over 200,000 views. At any rate, what I'm interested in is what have the views been in the last 48 hours? And this shows you the top videos. Look at this, the top performing video, and it's been out here since the summer, is installing TensorFlow 2.5 and Python 3.9 on Mac M1. Interestingly, the fourth video is also Mac M1. And then I have another Mac M1 video here. So the, the one's an install video, one is a, this is more of a technical, no, that's also an install video. And then the last one here, this is more of a technical overview. I'm talking, well, I've had it 30 days. What, what do I think about it? This amazes me. Where are all of you Mac users coming from? Now, I, I have a Mac, obviously, but I, I have all three. I have a Linux machine, I have a Windows, and I have a Mac. I, I use them interchangeably. But are you interested in Mac videos? Uh, do, you, do you want to see Mac videos? Do you not want to see Mac videos? Go, go away, evil fruit boxes. Let me know in the comments. Um, definitely, there's room for everybody, but based on the views, these are pretty popular. This has always been a very popular video of mine, how to choose an NVIDIA GPU for deep learning in 2021. I'll probably refresh this video in early 2022. So subscribe so that you don't miss it. And it just talks about what I know of, of GPUs and my recommendations for them. My recommendations evolve each year, as do the GPUs that are available. This is a technical overview video. This one's code heavy. So training a GAN from your own images. This one has really gone up there and it's, it's almost a year old. Still getting 215 a day. I'll put links to some of some of the top ones in here, but you, you or you can search on the title as well. This one's not performing particularly well. It's new. That's why you see it here. Uh, it, it had two views in the last 60 minutes. This is just a straight up product overview, and it is an AV switch. I am using it right now, a KVM switch. I don't do a lot of product reviews. It has to be very much related to machine learning. Now, if you're a vendor and you want to talk to me about GPUs, I do work with NVIDIA, always interested in laptops, these kind of things. 
I am certainly willing to, to do reviews. Definitely reach out and, and talk to me there. Python 3D. This video has done well. I gave an overview, and it's an, it's an older video. It's from 2020. I gave an overview of 3D graphics and the various ways to do that. I've thought about doing more on Python 3D graphics, like showing very specific things, like Blender. I do a lot with Blender my, myself. Technical overview. Is Colab Pro worth it in 2021? I am absolutely refreshing this one. There's Go Colab Pro Plus, which we totally need to talk about. Mac. This is a completely out of character video for me. Uh, in full disclosure, I do own crypto. I don't trade crypto. I'm, I'm, I'm an accumulator. Accumulator. Buy and hold. So I do have some Ethereum. I do have some Bitcoin. But, and I, I have better things for my GPUs to do generally than mine crypto. And I believe we're somewhat at the sunset of, of that world. But hey, I did show how my A6000 can mine Ethereum if you're so interested in it. Apparently a lot of people are, but there, I try to not do as many videos like this because this is just completely outside of my target audience. I am not trying to appeal to crypto traders, maybe write a machine learning crypto trader algorithm. But honestly, if I researched a crypto trader algorithm and it worked, you would know my channel would go dark. I would be on a beach. I would, why would I share that with you? Installing TensorFlow Kira's GPU, another install video, quite, quite popular. This is also out of character, but I gave the overview of my A6000. People, how do you, does it, does it run crisis? I mean, I mean cyberpunk or, or whatever. The only video game I play these days is Minecraft. Quite honestly with you, I'm not much of a gamer. They, they kind of give me motion sickness. It's, it probably saved my career actually that I became, the games made me ill. Kind of like a clockwork orange. Anybody ever see that movie? Sort of what happened to me. How I set up a uh, Mac M1 for machine learning, also popular. Again, these, these Mac M1, what would you like to see me do with my, with my M1 Mac? Let me know in the comments. And then YOLO V5, I just put this out, so that, that's interesting. Stylegan, Stylegan 3 is absolutely coming. There's always just new technologies coming from these libraries. So these were some of the most popular videos in 2021 from my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you even more if you just subscribed. Thank you even, even, even more if you're a long-term subscriber. So this is this is good. Let me know what, you, what you're interested in. If you see a comment talking about something that you're interested in, like it, Bo boil it up, uh, and like this video. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful and prosperous new year.